Hello, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you guys are enjoying my English learning content. I am starting a new series of videos. I've never done this before. And it's all about helping the immigrant community. Part of what I always loved to do for my students was help them with whatever they needed help with. Um, sometimes it had to do with finding healthcare or getting a driver's license, helping them learn how to drive or something like that. Um, so many different things, you know, that you need help with in your life, living in a new country. I was always there for my students in any way that they needed. And also, you may not know this, but I'm married to an immigrant. So my husband is from Mexico and we live in the United States now. So we have been through a lot together when it comes to um, getting your green card. And um, in today's video, we're going to talk about getting an ITIN number. So in this video, you are going to learn why it's important to get an ITIN and also how to do that for free. So if you're interested in this topic, then stay tuned for more information. As I mentioned, my husband is from Mexico. He is now a lawful permanent resident. He is a green card holder. When he came here though, he came here on a visa and he extended his stay. He was actually going to return home and move back home to be with his family, but he met me. I know. <laughs> and that's history, we would say. Um, so we started dating and he decided to stay here and we built a life together here in the US. Pretty early on in our relationship, he applied for the ITIN number and he started paying his taxes. And this was the best thing that he could have done for himself and for us as a couple thinking down the line in the future. So I know that's something that uh, a lot of people don't really consider. Um, a lot of immigrants that come here, they come here for work and maybe your plan is to return home, but you never know what God has planned. You never know if you're going to be here forever. You never know if you're going to meet someone that's going to change your life and you want to stay. So it is important to think about your future and think about what you need in order to make things easier for yourself in the long run. And one of those things is going to be paying your taxes. And in order to do that, it's signing up for an ITIN number. If you are ineligible to get a social security number, then you need an ITIN number. So anyone who is an immigrant without documentation should sign up for an ITIN number. Not only is the ITIN number for paying your taxes, it can also help you with several other things. For example, you can open a bank account with your ITIN. You can use it to get a driver's license. You can use it as proof indicating the duration of your residency in the United States. You may be able to claim a child tax credit. So that's something that you should ask your accountant about. Last but not least, one of the most important things, if you plan on buying a house in the future or possibly applying for your green card or citizenship, then having your ITIN in place early is the best thing that you can do for yourself. Trust me, you don't want to do this at the last minute because if you are going to uh, buy a house and the mortgage company is going to ask you for proof of your income, you wanna be able to say, here you go, here is my tax return for last year 
for example, or the last two years, whatever they're asking for. So you don't want to stress, you don't want to have any headaches, just go ahead and get it started. One thing that you might be concerned about is the possibility of the IRS sharing your information with other government agencies. But it clearly says on the IRS website that they do not share your personal information with other government agencies. So now, how to apply for an ITIN number. I have a personal story to share, a negative personal story. Um, I do know someone who applied for an ITIN number by paying for someone to do that for him. He paid a lot of money, this person just disappeared with his money and he didn't get his ITIN. So how to avoid this? Well, make sure that you're going to use someone that you trust. What I would like to share with you is that you don't need to pay someone to do it for you. You can easily go to the IRS website and schedule an appointment and you can go there. Now, if you're feeling uncomfortable because maybe you don't speak English, just bring a translator with you and I'm sure you will save so much money as opposed to paying for someone to apply for your ITIN for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a link in my description for this video that will take you to the IRS website where you can apply for an appointment at what is called an IRS Taxpayer Assistance Center. You can schedule an appointment with them and you can get the process going for free. Who doesn't like things for free? You should like things for free. So go ahead and do it for free. You don't need to pay someone. So there you go. That's everything that you need to know about an ITIN number. What is it? What is it for? Who needs it? And how do I get it? Like I said, don't wait till the last minute. This is something that's very important for you and your future. So do it the right way. Make sure you get an ITIN. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you like it so that I know that you want to see more videos like this. And also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notifications every time I post a new video. All right, guys, thank you so much. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye.